question is, how many grams of KClO3 are needed to form 20.0 grams of O2 gas? So the first step for these kinds of stoichiometry equations or stoichiometry problems is to write some sort of balanced equation. Since it doesn't really matter the identity of these two, since it doesn't ask, I'll just write out the unbalanced equation, kind of. So we have, oops, we have KClO3 um, goes to O2 gas. And now we want to go ahead and balance this. We also have K and a Cl out here somewhere. Maybe it'll look like that. Maybe we aqueous. Doesn't really matter right now. But so we have three oxygens on this side and two oxygens on this side. So how do we do that? They don't really share a common factor, but we can multiply this side by three, this side by two. Now I have a balanced equation. We can check. We have six oxygens, two potassiums, two chlorines. Okay, the next step is to do a little bit of stoichiometry. So what I like to do here with these kinds of problems is start with what we know. So we know we have 20.0 grams of O2. That's what we want. And we want to write out every conversion before I fill in the numbers. That just makes things a little bit easier to be organized. So we'd have to cancel out grams of O2. So we want to cancel out grams of O2 here and here. So we write grams of O2 on the bottom and we can convert that to moles of O2. That's how we can change identities of atoms. So we have O2 here, KClO3. We can only change those in moles. So we go moles O2, moles of O2, we can convert that to moles of KClO3. And it wants moles of KClO3 to grams of KClO3. Okay, the next step would be to fill in what we know. So from here, we can get this from the molar mass of oxygen. This is from our balanced equation above. And this is also from the molar mass on the periodic table. So I'd encourage you to pause the video here and see if you can figure out what goes in these spaces. So I assume uh, you've had a go at it. And so here we know that oxygen, O2, has a molar mass of 16. And we will put that by 2. And that's 32 grams per mole. We also have um, the molar mass here, 3 from the O2, and 2 over here. And then chlorine, 3. Let's do a quick little pull here. That's 35.45 plus 3 times 16. We get 83.45 grams per mole. And you just have to plug that into your calculator and divide. And we get 34.8 because 3 sig figs grams of. KClO3. Just notice. Okay, I was in here. KClO3. And that's the answer.